Hello, welcome back. This is Morris Dimba and today I want to show you how we can generate general arrangement drawing from a simple model like this. Immediately after uh, creating or uh, numbering your model, the next thing is how you create drawing and today I want to show you how we can generate generate the general arrangement of the steelwork or the, or the model itself. Now, to access the drawing section uh, uh, under if you are within the model view, we have drawings reports here. You can either double click on the drawing, on the drawing, and uh, the on the on the ribbon here, or you can just double click or press Control D. So if I double click here, I'll be able to 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 access the drawing section. So the drawing section we need to access for, next to we need to access the drawing manager where where all the drawings generated will be listed. Now I'll double click on the drawing manager here and we'll be able to see all the listed drawings that we had previously created when I was showing you or our, when I was demonstrating on how you can create single part and assembly drawings. And for now we don't we don't we don't want to mix anything here. We want to either delete this or we can just retain them but we we are going to add a general arrangement here. So we'll go straight or the same same drawing manager will come to create drawings here. So we'll click on this button here. Then uh, this dialog box for create new drawing will come. So we, you, it's it's a good practice always to name the, the drawing you are generating. So this one will give it a still work, still work, or just still work like that. General arrangement, still work general general arrangement. Arrangements like that. So we've given it a name. A drawing type is just still general arrangement. So I'll go. You can add some few small notes there, but for now we can just leave it uh, blank like that. So I'll go ahead and click. Uh, okay. So the want to do that, that name will be given here. General still work arrangement. Uh, the drawing type is 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 still general arrangement. It's open now. We want to create the, the general arrangement. So the moment you do this, you do this, uh, the drawing size or the drawing uh, border will be generated. And if I double click on that, I'll cl and click say yes or save everything there. I'll be able to let me just double click on it once again and click yes. So I'll go ahead and, and close this now. So if I close that. I'll have this in place. So this has de have, have given us a boundary in which we can place our uh, general arrangement drawing, general arrangement drawings. Now we have we have we, we have these the, these all these views that we generated from grid line right away from uh, model view, and we also have them here. So this way we'll pull them and uh, inserting them inside uh, this de defined boundary for our drawings. So uh, as, we, as we move step by step, I'll show you on, on how we can insert our title block here. Now, let me just give you a plan view of a plan view for the steelwork from the rooftop because the apex height of our portal frame was seven meters. So I want just to show you or generate a general arrangement of this drawing from the, from the top at seven meter high. So I'll mouse over this particular uh, view here then right click then uh, the moment I right click I'll be I'll be able to left click by clicking uh, I'll, I'll be able to create uh, create viewport by left clicking after right clicking there so I'll click right there and uh, the, the drawing will be generated so this is the still work arrangement roof plan from from uh, from the roof so this is how it looks. So if I double click here, because you can see it's way off at the size of our, of our uh, defined title block or title uh, border. So if I double click here, I'll be able to modify or change the, the scale. Now to change the scale, I can add here, maybe 100, I can make it 100 millimeter, one to 100. So I'll click apply and give it an okay. But you can see it has gone smaller but the viewport, you can, the viewport is this frame that covering this particular drawing. 
But prior to that, even if we fit it in, it will not be able to fit properly. We'll still have to adjust the scale. So I'll first of all fit the, the view scale, the, the viewport. So if I double click in here and drag this aside and click fit, you'll be able to see it has it has it has framed itself into into trying to fit inside the, the defined border uh, drawing borderline. Now it's still big; it cannot fit well in the, within that uh, title block border. Now I'll add I'll try to add just the scale to 120 and uh, see if it if it will fit exactly. It will fit, and let me fit uh, my my viewport now it has it has it, it it it's now it has been fixed now and it, it is fitting well now you can see the name here plan at elevation or at at at, at uh, plan at seven meter high so i should have changed that instead of elevation this is not an elevation this is a, a plan view so you, you can also change that you can also come to uh, can come here and maybe change that plan at seven meter and click apply. So that one can be seen there. So, so that's how you generate uh, the GA. And also you can see as it, as it is now, we, we can only see the couplet. So we, we also want to see the, the, the column uh, profile. We can just double click in on, on the on the viewport here and come under filtering here and include let me just come to general here uh, always draw mode uh, plays it at uh, full dashed this displays everything even uh, hidden lines you'll, you'll be able to see the hidden lines already indicated there L label setting you can see that level setting you can see that and also detailing detailing we have that in place and filtering we have that in place so i can leave it at, as, as, it, as it is now and now i'll go to i want to add some parts i want to add some elevations now i'll come to grid line a so if i click on grid line a then right click and come to create create uh, create viewport i'll be able to see i have this in place this elevation at the, the gable side. Then if I come to A here and then right click, I can come to that spot. I'll be able to see I, I, I have all these in place. So it's always advisable to modify this. So I can go ahead and uh, double click on that and try to fix my try to fix my filtering. So I'll click reset my filtering. Maybe try, try partial and click OK, and everything will be set. So I have this in place. So if I come here and select on that, let me just try it and try and drag it inside. It will not fit, but it, it's always advisable that uh, you define it, make it fit inside. So this is how it looks. You can we can always adjust uh, the scale or change uh, the the drawing paper size to a bigger one. So for now, let me just get rid of this because I don't want to 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 clog or to 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 make our drawing look busy. So let me just add one here. Let me come to ten or eleven here. Then right click, come to that. So I can add that in place and another one. And this is how you add uh, how you generate the GA drawing. We can also come here and right click and come to create port and you can also generate maybe a 3d of that particular drawing if you zoom out you can have this in place if i double click in here and uh, come to filtering filtering here and uh, reset our x x y uh, x y limits so that we see everything and if i if i apply there you'll be able to see everything in place so let me just uh, Reset once again, let me just put it full or partial and click. Full and reset our, our, our limits. And this for now, this is how it looks. And 
this is our 3D, but we'll modify it further so that we have everything checked in place. So let, let me just delete that. And let me just delete, set, select, and press delete on, on, on the keyboard. So that's how you can generate your GA drawings. And also you can add some dimensions here. If I come to dimensions here, I can uh, make, put some, some dimensions there. You can put a dimension right there. And right click to to place that to place a dimension there. If I come here and terminate it here, then uh, right click, I'll be able to place my dimensions. So this is how you you do you create the you create your general arrangement drawings. So that's it. So let's meet then on another tutorial on how we can move further and create more drawings or creating other, other or giving some tricks and uh, tips on how we can create models and drawings. So bye bye, don't, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, this is Morris Gimba and let's meet then.